Good Monday afternoon, everyone. This is Mark Litwin. We are joined by Patrick Miller, Pete Anello, and uh, our special guest, Dan Holm, for today's Midday Cafe. Um, just a quick brief on the agenda here. You know, this is the uh, the news and and uh, welcome and shout outs. We welcome everyone. We we don't have the Q and A up today, so we put a, a link in here. Um, if you have any questions through the presentation, feel free to uh, to tweet those the at Dan Holm. We'll be monitoring that and we'll um, bring up any questions and and uh, uh, hopefully can have some participation that way. Um, so right after this, we're going to go to Pete for the news and the events coming up. We have a, a few more midday cafes set up here. At, uh, great content coming up. And then to Dan, he's going to have some great um, updates on what we're doing with communities in Yammer. It's uh, amazing stuff if you haven't looked at it lately. Um, again, as you're going through there, feel free to send all those uh, questions to at Dan Holm on Twitter. We'll do some follow up with that and, and wrap up. So with that, Pete, the floor is yours. Thanks, Mark. Sorry about that. Um, many of you may know Microsoft Ignite starts tomorrow. If you have not registered, register today. It's not too late. Um, this year, again, it's virtual and it's, it's free to register and participate. So starts tomorrow, takes literally 30 seconds to register, so take advantage of it. Um, great article released on the Teams blog site around Satin, our new AI-powered audio codec. Um, better quality, lower bandwidth is the short of it, but the article does go into some further detail, some history, um, and some of the things that we're doing from, a, from an AI perspective. Uh, this week, we did announce a new industry-specific cloud offering. So we're going to have a Microsoft Cloud for financial services, manufacturing, and nonprofit. As you know, we already have a cloud for health. So this is just Microsoft further extending our industry-specific services. Uh, P minus five months escape for business online retirement. Um, so if you don't have a plan, you know, we do have a link here. There's lots of resources. We have Caruana coming in a, in a couple of weeks to talk about teens adoption and government. Really important that our Skype for Business partner uh, customers, uh, you know, take the steps they need to ensure that they have a successful transition. Uh, this was last week's news, but it's been such a hot topic that we just wanted to reiterate it. Um, the new employee experience platform helps employees thrive. It's called Microsoft Viva. Lots of resources coming out about it. Um, and we're talking to our customers about it almost every day. One week from today, Midday Cafe, we will have uh, Mark Cashman talking about lists. And then two weeks today from today, we will have Karawana Gitamu talk about teams adoption and governance. And Dan, uh, who's going to talk about Microsoft Communities and Yammer. All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dan Holm. I'm the principal product manager lead uh, on the Yammer team responsible for uh, integrations of Yammer across the suite. It's my pleasure to be here with you today and uh, and to share some of our latest innovations in employee engagement and uh, communities in Microsoft 365. Um, today I'm going to share some uh, an overview with you to catch you up if you have not uh, uh, been following the developments in Yammer recently or if you've never had the opportunity to, to dial into what Yammer offers in Microsoft 365. We'll spend a short, mo a short bit of time uh, covering those fundamentals and then we'll open up to questions uh, feel free to tweet questions to at Dan Holm, D-A-N-H-O-L-M-E, uh, and I'll be following those questions as we go through um, as we go through the presentation. And I know um, Pete and Mark will be uh, uh, and team will be picking and picking up with questions as well. So let's dive. Uh, let's dive right in. Today, uh, more than ever, it's clear that people are the key to success. 
Uh, technology can amplify human ingenuity, but in the end, it's people that build resilience and agility and drive innovation in organizations. And of course, over the last year, and hard to believe it's been basically a year to this week, uh, we've really seen that more than ever. Organizations have raced to uh, transform the way they collaborate in their work groups, the way they chat, call, and meet using Microsoft Teams. But they're, they're but now they're realizing that just keeping those work groups going isn't isn't enough. It's critical that we connect and engage people across the organization in order to build resiliency and agility at the organizational level. So customers and employees alike are looking for ways to create connection and community. We have employees at Microsoft, many of you do as well, who have joined the company during the pandemic and have never met one of their colleagues in person yet. We Customers are looking for ways to communicate, and navigate change, not just the change in, uh, induced by the pandemic, but all organizational change. They're looking for ways to harness knowledge and ideas, to connect people with experts and answers. Again, more difficult than ever when we're in this world of hybrid and remote work. And importantly, to foster a culture of inclusion that connects everyone in an organization, gives everyone a voice, and makes everyone feel welcome. So to build this kind of resilience, your people must be connected, inspired, and activated. And the good news is that's what people want as well. To achieve these goals, just listen to what people in your organization are asking for. People in your organization want to be connected with others, to be inspired by the mission and culture of the organization, to stay up to date with news and information, but to make it but, but relevant news and information that's personalized to them, their job and their role, and not noisy. They want to help, they want help finding answers and experts from outside their team. And importantly, they want to be included, to have their voice heard and to be able to share and contribute their experience. In the end, it's all about engagement and engaging your employees. And in Microsoft 365, Yammer is the tool for building communities that enable people to share knowledge and enable the organization to engage employees. Yammer has superpowers that it brings to the suite, starting with its open, inclusive, and discoverable conversation. Conversations in Yammer communities are open by default, meaning they're available to anyone in the organization to find, uh, and, they, and the communities are uh, open for anyone to join and ask questions. Yammer not only has a hero uh, application on web and on mobile, but is increasingly integrated across Microsoft 365. So you can get these superpowers without having to leave the flow of your work. You can continue to work in Outlook, in Teams, and in SharePoint, for example, and have conversations, news, announcements, and questions come to you. And finally, um, and, and finally, uh, Yammer delivers enterprise-grade security, privacy, and compliance so that you can connect people across your organization confidently, knowing that your uh, sensitive information is protected. Now, we're going to take a look, quick look at these four scenarios and then open up to questions. Again, remember, you can tweet questions to at Dan Holm. We'll start with how Yammer allows you to create connection and community by connecting people across the organization. This is a best practices community for a sales organization, connecting sales teams that themselves are nurturing sales leads. Here, they connect and share news and information across their broader uh, sales force and share new product information and announcements, provide feedback, ask questions, and get answers. We see that a Yammer community is alive, it's vibrant, and it showcases what's being shared, who's sharing it, and the engagement around that sharing. People are sharing media, files, praise, and news. Now let's dissect the sales community to see some of the new features in Yammer, because over the last year, we've completely reimagined the Yammer experience, built it from the ground up. Yammer is, in fact, the first app in Microsoft 365 built from the ground up with the Fluent design system. So it brings to you a modern experience that's optimized for communities. 
So in this sales best practices community, people can connect and engage across the organization, across sales teams in this case. People can share information across the sales force, share it broadly, including managing communications like pinning conversations and posting announcements that are available to the entire community, featuring conversations to raise visibility in the feed. The team can celebrate success. You can showcase praise for a job well done. The team can share their reactions and express themselves personally with gifts. Whenever a leader chimes into a conversation, it makes a big difference and drives higher levels of engagement. And, and Yammer allows you to add hashtags and topics that connect conversations across threads and communities. In this case, customer win allows us to find other conversations with that hashtag from across communities in Yammer. Further down, we see people asking questions. Questions are showcased in the feed. You can at mention someone to bring them into the conversation. So even if they're not a member of the community, they can contribute their expertise. People can share resources and replies. And when the best answer is found, you can flag that best answer, which then gets pinned to the top of the thread, making that knowledge easier to come back to in the future. And of course, you can react and show your appreciation for a great answer. Going on, we see the sh people sharing photos and images and videos from YouTube and Microsoft Stream. You can share links to internal and external resources. Those links show up with a rich preview and people can engage around them. You can poll your community, allowing people to vote and express their opinion, recognize contribution, and crowdsource feedback and ideas. This, in fact, is one of my favorite use cases for Yammer. I see customers driving significant savings through quality improvements and feedback uh, initiatives that crowdsource ideas. People can uh, then vote up answers and find uh, great solutions to problems. For the next scenario, let's look at how you can use Yammer to communicate and navigate change in your organization by keeping people informed and engaged. This is a safety community. In this community, people uh, share policies and announcements related to employee safety uh, and are able to ask questions and get answers. Whenever you want to make an announcement to a community, you can click and share. So we'll go ahead and share an update to our store opening guidance. Yammer lets you format your announcements with rich text, include links and media as we saw earlier, and we're going to go ahead and make this an announcement, which will generate a notification for community members in addition to flagging it as an announcement in the feed. A community manager can pin the post to the top of the feed to further increase its visibility in the community. Now that 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 then boosts that uh, that announcement on mobile and generates notifications across Microsoft 365. Featuring a conversation raises its visibility in Yammer's home feed, where people from across the organization can discover information uh, and valuable conversations. When you want a more rich news experience, you can use SharePoint News to create a rich page-like experience that curates content from across Microsoft 365. You can then take a link to that news article and paste it into Yammer. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna go ahead as Nestor and paste the link to this, our new store opening guidance. I'm gonna add a few opening thoughts as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark this as an announcement to generate notifications to community members. And we'll see how these notifications surface to people across Microsoft 365. Alex is working in at Teams and gets a notification in Teams. He's able to open the announcement and read it without leaving the hub for teamwork. Carol works in Outlook. She receives a notification in Outlook and is able to react to the conversation and share it to her community without leaving her inbox. Yammer announcements allow you to reach people wherever they work across desktop, web, and mobile, Yammer, Outlook, and Microsoft Teams. 
So it's a great way to drive broad communications in your organization. Let's turn next to sharing knowledge and ideas, connecting people so they can find answers and experts when they need it, and to share ideas to accelerate innovation. Here, back in the sales best practices community, we're going to post a question. Alex will ask, what is the maximum discount we can give during the promotional period? The, the question then becomes visible to people across uh, the, the community. So Nestor sees the question on mobile. He doesn't know the answer, but he knows someone who is. So he at mentions Megan, who's an expert in our discounting pack, uh, programs. Now, even if Megan isn't a part of the community, at mentioning her will draw her into the conversation. Megan spends her day in Outlook. She gets the question in her inbox and is able to respond to it without leaving the flow of her work. Alex then sees the answer in the community and can mark it as the best answer to flag that knowledge and preserve it for the future. As you can see, Yammer allows you to connect people with questions and answers, again, across Yammer, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, and mobile experiences. Let's see a little bit about what's coming soon to question and answer in Yammer. That includes the ability to upvote answers. Here, we have a question with multiple answers because there's not always one great answer. Upvoting answers allows people to um, uh, vote on those answers and for you to easily see responses. To further connect knowledge, you will be able to use topics and hashtags, which we referred to a little bit earlier. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question and tag it with the topic of our product, Mach 3. After tagging it uh, with the topic, um, I can uh, uh, actually create another topic that doesn't exist, uh, doesn't even exist yet, like commercial range, and add that to our topic catalog. I'll pop in a quick description and create that topic. Now, topics allow you to connect conversations across communities in Yammer. So after that topic uh, is created on this particular question, it's connected to other conversations about Mach 3. If I click Mach 3, we can actually see the topic page that pulls together conversations from across communities tagged with that particular topic. We see conversations, questions, polls, and news about our upcoming product. I can even filter this feed to look for questions about the topic. So if I'm an expert in the topic, I can quickly find unanswered questions and contribute my knowledge. Soon you'll also be able to filter conversations in a community by topic. So back here in our best practices community, I have the ability to look at popular topics in the community and filter the feed to those specific topics. So I'll go ahead and click Mach 3. And filter the topics. Topics in Yammer uh, can graduate to become topics in Microsoft Viva. Microsoft Viva topics customers will be able to access topic cards that curate information from across Microsoft 365. So if I hover over the topic, for example, I'll get a topic card that brings together experts and top questions and answers about the topic right within Yammer. If I want to know more, I can click view details to get to the topic page about the topic. Topic pages are like a, like a Wikipedia page for the enterprise with everything I need to know about the topic, including questions, answers, and conversations from Yammer. Last but not least, we'll talk briefly about culture and inclusion. We've talked about this at other uh, HLS events and, uh, and so we won't demonstrate it right now, but it is important for leaders to be able to uh, demonstrate and model culture to scale vision, and to uh, foster a culture of inclusion in the organization. 
Leaders can use communities and live events to host town hall style um, virtual events where people can come together with live and on demand video and open discussion and questions and answers. That can spark engagement that can then carry on in communities to connect employees and leaders in a two way dialogue. We have a number of customers, particularly in healthcare, that are using this set of capabilities to connect frontline workers with their headquarters to keep uh, people uh, informed and to create a feedback loop that allows leaders to listen to employees. That's a really quick tour, I know, of the four key scenarios that Yammer supports in Microsoft 365. And Yammer is available in a web application as well as on iOS and Android. But more than that, and it, micro, uh, Yammer impacts the entire suite and brings its capabilities across Microsoft 365. Hey, Dan, can I interrupt you for? Yes, a second? please go right ahead. Yeah. So, so I was thinking about what the Yammer community aspects, and uh, I know we're waiting on some tweets to come in at, at Dan at home, but before we get all those in, um, one of the questions I had for a lot of our healthcare customers is thinking about returning to work and and these these hybrid work type scenarios in fact i was i was with one of our customers a provider just last week and they said hey you know with vaccinations on the rise we are starting to have those conversations that says hey people are going to be back into our conference rooms again they're going to be back interacting what is yammer's role in this sort of change to hybrid work the uh, the water cooler conversations of old how do we how do we sort of take those things those concepts and 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 sort of in, uh, invigorate their digital twin if you will yeah that's a great question if you think about work uh, in the physical world, <laughs> 13 months ago, uh, we had physical places where we came together to get work done. And that's what teams and channels allow you to do, to get together with the people you're working with on a shared project or, or deliverable, to chat, call, meet, and collaborate in real time. But there were also those spaces where we came together to meet people from outside our working groups, the hallways, the water coolers, the restaurants, the coffee shops, where we caught up where we shared knowledge and where we shared experience. That's the, the those in those are the kinds of spaces that Yammer provides the digital twin for. It creates that space where people can connect who might not otherwise uh, be, uh, uh, be working together and on a daily basis to share knowledge and to and to exchange ideas. So because of the pandemic, customers have really felt the the stress of not having that ability to connect people in physical places and Yammer replicates that in the digital world. And I think as we head back to uh, a more hybrid work environment, uh, most of our customers are telling us we will never go back to exactly what it was before. There will be some level of hybrid work happening for forever. Uh, and even if a small fraction of your workforce isn't physically present in the office on a particular day or for a particular week or even permanently, you need to be able to connect those people, to include them, to uh, draw on their expertise, uh, and to drive the business forward together. I think that's so important, the, what you pointed out, the inclusivity aspects of it. And I saw a lot of the hashtag things so I can follow the topics I care about as an individual, whether I'm remote, as you saw the mobile, you shared the mobile scenarios. People increasingly are trying to figure out how to balance everything in their world. And that's certainly been highlighted over the last year for all of us, right? How do I how do I still figure it all out? But with these new experiences that, that I, you, know, you just shared in Yammer, it feels like a very modern sort of approach to, hey, I can do the things I might be comfortable doing in my personal life and social, but also can do it in a corporate, you know, sort of, uh, you know, controlled way, you know, with, with Yammer and with communities. Those things seem like we're, we're really um, have listened to customers in, in terms of where where they want to go. Does that sound accurate? Yeah, 100 uh, percent. The capabilities that Yammer brings to the enterprise have their roots, uh, certainly in the capabilities we all come to expect in our consumer lives, being able to connect with people broadly and share information um, uh, with, with groups of people. Uh, those are definitely uh, high value use cases within an organization. Excellent. Well, I'll let you keep keep going. I don't want to slow you down too much. I know we're on a, a tight window at lunchtime to get, get all this content out to people. So please keep going. I'll, I'll have more questions, I'm sure. Cool. I'll just do one more. I'll, uh, I've just got sort of one more point on the presentation and then we can get some more questions as well. And remember, you can tweet to uh, at Dan Holm. Uh, so let me share my uh, slides again.
All righty. Let me minimize that. Um, so we've been look, we we talked about the the hero use cases for Yammer and communities in Microsoft 365 to drive connection, communication, knowledge sharing, and engagement. Um, and Yammer does uh, is available to customers today on web and mobile, and will soon be releasing a new desktop experience based on personal web apps. But over the last year, customers have asked us to bring the superpowers of communities into the flow of work, into the apps that people spend hours and hours in every single day. So we brought the superpowers of Yammer to Microsoft Teams with the Communities app for Microsoft Teams. You can install the Communities app and have a first class full fidelity Yammer experience right inside the hub for teamwork. We've also integrated Yammer into Outlook with inbox integration, which we saw a little bit of in our demonstration. That means that uh, uh, notifications from Yammer, conversations that are where you've been at mentioned or that you're following and announcements are fully visible and interactive right inside the inbox. So you can open, view and engage with those conversations without having to leave Outlook. And finally, We've updated the web part for SharePoint, as well as the embed for other web uh, app web platforms. So you can bring conversations right into the internet and power a more social internet. So wherever you need Yammer, it's there for you. And uh, I'm sure we'll have some questions about that in a moment, but let's uh, let's go ahead and, and, uh, and break for some questions. So Dan, a couple more from me. I promise you, I couldn't couldn't stop because get, <laughs> getting a chance to get you in front of this audience is really important. And I, I think as a team, we we sort of tackle one key question. Um, I would say for years, quite honestly. But is it Yammer or is it Teams, and when and why? Like, what what are the the thought processes there from sort of from a Microsoft leadership perspective? If you can share share that vision. Sure, that's a that's a great question and one we get all the time. Uh, how can people make the most of Yammer and Microsoft Teams? And it really is an and story. Uh, so let's take a let's take a quick look at how you might think about that. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and switch back to my slide for a moment. Um, uh, in Microsoft Teams, uh, we want you to be able to connect with everyone in the organization, from the smallest work group to the entire organization. And the way we encourage customers to do that is to install the communities app for Microsoft Teams and pin it to the app bar. That brings Yammer and Teams together, uh, that brings communities and teams together in Microsoft Teams. So then to your question, uh, uh, how can you make the best use of a team and of a community within Microsoft Teams? Let's start with a team. Most of us have spent the last year learning how to work effectively with teams in an online world. Teams are about collaborating with your work group to get stuff done. It's where you chat, where you meet, where you share files, uh, and uh, where you can co-create. Teams are great for uh, work groups like uh, product development team, event planning, or sales team that's nurturing opportunities. A community, on the other hand, connects you outside your and across your work groups. It connects people across the organization to share knowledge and ideas. That knowledge and ideas then allows you to do better at your job. Scenarios that Yammer is suited for and communities include company-wide communications, best practices sharing, question and answers, and employee interest groups. Each of these scenarios really rely on bringing people in from a variety of perspectives and places in the organization. They flatten organizational silos and allow people to connect directly with each other. So you can think of Yammer as your neighborhood and you can think of communities as your universe, as one of my uh, friends and a Yammer MVP recently said. Uh, to, to, for those of you who are more technical in the audience, it is important to realize that these two experiences are optimized for those scenarios. Teams is really optimized for effective teamwork, bringing together every app you need and, uh, uh, and supporting platform extensions to drive effective teamwork. And teams are uh, by default private uh, and they're really designed for synchronous communication. That means keeping on top of the conversation that's driving your work forward. Communities are optimized for broad engagement at scale, supporting hundreds of thousands of users. They feature open, discoverable conversations that allow you to find out what's going on across your organization when the time is right for you, asynchronously. 
And that asynchronous communication is, is one of Yammer's superpowers. So hopefully, whether you're a more technical person looking at the, the actual product truth that makes these products uh, uh, uniquely suited for their scenarios, or whether you're a business person trying to decide whether to create a team or whether to create a community, hopefully this guidance will help. And in the end, what's important to realize is that you no longer have to go to two separate applications for these capabilities. Simply install the Communities app in Teams. Excellent. Um, I want to take a question from the audience, Dan. So Lily is asking, um, you touched on this already a little bit, but are you able to expand on examples for organizations that may have been late in, in enabling Yammer? So they pushed it off probably past uh, deploying <laughs> Exchange Online and maybe even SharePoint and said, hey, we'll get to Yammer eventually, but how can they still thrive alongside Teams and Viva is what she wants to know. Like what's the, where do you recommend them to start even might be the, if I can expand on her question a little bit more even. Yeah, that's a really super question. I think the key to realize is that that core those core superpowers that we talked about with Yammer, the open conversation, communities, the integration across Microsoft 365, that's a foundational capability that organizations need to implement to get the most out of Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Viva. Without that connection outside your work groups, without the ability to communicate broadly, to share knowledge across the organization, you're really missing out on some of the some of the some of what some of the magic sauce that you can get from Microsoft Teams as a hub for work, um, and Microsoft Viva sits on top of all of these capabilities and uh, draws even more superpowers. You might have heard about Microsoft Viva Connections, which is a gateway for your employee experience. It features a feed of news and conversations from SharePoint and Yammer. If you don't have those conversations happening in Yammer. There won't be anything showing that 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 won't be available to show up inside of Microsoft Viva Connections. And similarly, Viva Topics is about curating uh, information and expertise around a topic. Uh, and if you don't have that tacit knowledge being shared in communities of practice in Yammer, you'll be missing out on the ability to harvest and harness that knowledge and amplify it in your organization. So Yammer really and communities really do give you that core uh, set of conversations and knowledge and idea exchange and news that then feeds Viva and um, uh, Microsoft Teams. So my guidance to you is find the right scenarios to start using Yammer, whether it's for company communications with the all company uh, community, whether it's knowledge sharing, whether it's employee engagement, um, get those flywheels uh, turning so that as you integrate communities into Teams, and as you deploy Microsoft Viva, you have uh, a rich set of activity happening to feed those experiences. Excellent, excellent. I, I, I think that's uh, that's really helpful. I, and, I, and I do find, Dan, that a lot of our customers just need that little bit of like, where do we go? What do, you know, how do I kind of kickstart this? And so I think those are really, really great uh, and helpful tips. Um, what about Outlook and Yammer? What if I'm I'm sort of stuck over in the Outlook uh, Outlook land still? And and many of us admit Microsoft still has a very much an email culture as well. What what are we <laughs> doing in that in that front, right? Yeah, that's a great question. We're integrating deeply into Outlook, and we've got a lot more to share over the next couple of months. In fact, so stay tuned. But today, you can uh, in, engage with Yammer communities and announcements right from your inbox. Any Yammer notification that is generated for you, an announcement to a community you're a member of, including the all company community, um, a post where you're at mentioned, a conversation you're following, those will come to you in your inbox and you can engage with them fully without having to leave your inbox. Um, I personally have found that that integration has been huge for me because I use my inbox as a way to triage direct communication. So I'm in my inbox regularly as are most people at Microsoft. Having those notifications from Yammer means I can triage those notifications uh, and uh, respond to those conversations just as I do email. Um, and I found it to be incredibly uh, empowering and we're finding it to be an exceptionally popular uh, feature of Yammer. Um, it's really rich on Outlook web access um, and we've also brought the interactive um, experience to Yammer on desktop. Uh, we'll be improving it over the next couple of months. So again, lots to share there. Excellent, excellent.
Yeah, so the, uh, another question that always comes up and uh, more from, you know, those who maybe looked at Yammer a few years ago and, um, you know, made some decisions based on where it was either from the product life cycle or how we were integrating it into the broader suite. Um, and, you know, just would hate to lose the opportunity here. You know, you guys have made so many strides in terms of security and compliance and the full feature set there. Um, you know, anything that you can comment on there from, you know, again, those who have looked at it maybe three, four, five years ago um, and, and what's changed since then? Yeah, great question. Um, we've spent this entire presentation talking about the new user experience and capabilities of Yammer, but we've done an equally significant amount of work on the service itself and on the controls that give IT the ability to manage security, privacy, identity, identity and the service itself. So among other things, we have uh, connected Yammer communities to Microsoft 365 groups, uh, and we encourage customers to, um, to go native. Yammer has native mode, which ensures that all communities are backed by Office 365 groups which means files are stored in SharePoint uh, and you get all the rich power of Office 365, including live events uh, for your communities. Uh, the next step is to uh, think about uh, compliance and we've added compliance capabilities, including the ability to uh, report a conversation. So if someone sees something that's uh, perhaps not appropriate, they can report it to uh, um, a community manager or admin. Uh, and we've also introduced communications compliance, which uses AI to look at conversations for signs of problems, whether it's uh, sensitive, leak of sensitive information, uh, bullying or harassment. Uh, we've also ensured that Yammer conversations um, support e-discovery as well. So we've done a ton of work for security and compliance, uh, and we are right now shipping Azure B2B uh, to support external users uh, and uh, in um, in Yammer communities, uh, and and very important for our European customers, we've brought Yammer to the European uh, Union uh, data centers, uh, so you can have the ability to uh, store data at rest in uh, the EU. Well, that's uh, amazing. I, I thought I had a good handle on the answer to that and still learned something from it. <laughs> so uh, absolutely amazing, uh, the work that's been done there. Um, you know, it, it, customers now and everyone who, who uses Yammer, I think, has a, a great handle on on when to you know use which piece. And I know you touched on you know some of those pieces th there earlier. But you know, when you, when you start digging into Teams and you know when to use a group chat versus a channel versus Yammer, um, you know, for those who who you know aren't as mature with Teams and Yammer and some other things, that that is a bit you know overwhelming. Um, you know, where would you see kind of the starting point of that? You said, hey, just enable it. And, you know, some people are probably like, yeah, I, I wish I could. Um, but are, are there any, you know, Yammer is so good at those those niche scenarios, uh, you know, Q&As and, and connecting external groups. But, you know, where do you see the, you know, the biggest traction or the bang for the buck kind of thing? Uh, it really is summarized on on this particular slide. It's 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 about um, uh, using teams for what they're great at, which is connecting people to get work done. While a group chat is a nice way to just keep a conversation moving, when you really want to co-create, when you want to manage work, when you want to infuse business process uh, into uh, the flow of your work, um, that's what teams and channels are for. Um, teams as the underlying security boundary and channels to divide uh, and organize conversation and activity within a team. Um, communities, again, are about connecting people across those work groups and across the organization. So while um, most users should be able to install the communities app uh, themselves, just click the three dots on the app bar and go to uh, add an app. Um, if, for some, uh, if for some reason you're not able to install it, your IT organization certainly can. Uh, and what I really encourage it for those folks who are uh, listening to this uh, event um, who are in IT, deploy the communities app for your organization. You can do that right from the Teams admin center. You can deploy the app to all or a portion of your organization. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, IT and users can choose to pin it to their app bar. So it's just there and it's part of their flow of work. Well, I, that's all the questions we have, and uh, one of your answers got a responsive, great answer. So, uh, <laughs> thanks. 
<laughs> I do. I do see one about um, uh, Yammer for non-desk employees and uh, and frontline workers. Um, the, the a lot of the we showed a little bit of the mobile experience in this particular presentation, but the Yammer mobile app is phenomenal um, for those customers who aren't using Microsoft Teams, and for those customers that are using Microsoft Teams, you can add the Communities app uh, is available on Teams mobile as well. Uh, and I personally think, and our customers are telling us, that the combination of Microsoft Teams and the Communities app on mobile is transformational. T uh, by putting these, these capabilities together in a mobile app, it gives organizations the ability to organize their deskless workers in teams. Uh, that's particularly important, say, for facilities or for retail locations to keep work going. Um, and to connect those uh, not deskless workers with headquarters, to keep them up to date with information and connected to each other and engaged in the culture and the mission of the organization. Um, so just as much as, as this applies to uh, web and desktop, it applies to mobile perhaps even more. And we recently have brought on several large uh, uh, customers across uh, healthcare as well as retail who've brought on many, many, many thousands of, of, of workers using either the communities app in Teams, uh, or if they haven't yet deployed Teams, uh, using the Yammer application. It's, it's, it's really quite transformational for those organizations. Well, that, that's great. I uh, learned a ton through this. Um, any other uh, questions? We can wrap this up with, um, you know, there's, um, uh, the recording is going to be posted to the HLS blog. We'll get you the link over there. Um, and, you know, please continue to engage. We have, uh, you know, uh, you can put comments there, or, you know, tweet to the, you know, the different Q&A there, and we'll be able to respond and, uh, you know, love your, your feedback on Yammer. Um, you know, with that, you know, th thank you so much, Dan, for taking the time to, to share all the work you, you've done with, with Yammer and communities. It's uh, uh, always amazing those customers who, and folks who have fully absorbed it and, you know, use it in their organization to see the success there. And, um, you know, great that you could share the, you know, where your team is, is focusing for the future. Um, so with that, we have a, a few resources. Oh, this, this is yours, Dan. Do you want to talk to that? Or? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, for those of you who are interested in learning more after today, um, I've put up a set of, of, uh, of resources, all of them aka.ms slash Yammer. The virtual hub contains a whole slew of video-based learning that we created for the Ignite uh, last fall um, the, for you to learn and share across your organization. Uh, resources is adoption resources for business as well as IT. Our blog will help you stay up to date. Our community is super vibrant. If you've got questions and answers, uh, you can provide feedback uh, directly to the product team. Uh, and I encourage you to follow at Yammer, uh, our product handle, as well as me for um, updates. Uh, and for those of you who are interested in more of our customer stories, I encourage you to check out the Yammer blog. We've got some great stories, uh, including a recent one about a European retail customer. Uh, so that's a great place to stay on top of uh, customer stories as well. Uh, and thank from my from from myself and from the entire Yammer product team uh, and the entire Microsoft uh, 365 organization, I'd like to say thank you all uh, for trusting us uh, and partnering with us to help your customers uh, succeed and achieve more during these times. We know it's uh, it's 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 been challenging, of course, for all of us. And I particularly thank you for taking time out of your day today to uh, to join us. And and thank you to the HLS team for inviting me today to the Day Cafe. Thanks so much, Dan. It's been been really great. Uh, on behalf uh, of the Midday Cafe uh, team, thank you, thank you so much for for being a part of it. Um, you can always follow us at, at HLS Blog. That's aka.ms forward slash HLS Blog. And uh, as you can see on screen, at Dan Holm if, with an E on the end. Uh, if you have other questions, um, feel free to do that. We will follow up with the recording and any other questions that come in. We'll get answers to those po posted as always. Uh, just trying the new format with the the tweet the the tweet version of questions this time. Uh, we'll probably return to live Q and A in a future week um, uh, us using the uh, Teams Live app. So uh, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Any anything else that that I missed? Pete, Mark, Dan, yeah, thanks. I don't think so. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, much appreciated.